Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Kevin Scott's High Republic comic series returned with a new issue and it was a pretty solid addition to what's been one of my current favorite comic series. Let's dive into the issue and discuss some of my thoughts and takeaways from Star Wars The High Republic number 5. Obviously, spoilers ahead for The High Republic number 5 and also Light of the Jedi, so turn back now if you don't want anything spoiled. The issue opens on Sedri Minor, right where we left off in issue 4, and although Sedri Minor isn't in Hut space, it's revealed that the Hut cartel have arrived to protect the people of Sedri Minor. Well, not really. They're there to actually protect the crops the people of Sedri Minor grow that's used in production of Bacta, which the Huts make the people of Sedri give them in exchange for the Huts' protection. Your basic racketeering scheme, essentially. Things quickly escalated, however, when the lovely Myarga the Benevolent was attacked by Skier, who's still under the control of the Drengear, at least to some degree. Fighting then ensued between Myarga's goons and the Jedi contingent of Skier, Keith Trennis, Avar Chris, Tarek, and Serret. In an effort to save Skier and prevent the violence from escalating, Keeve severed Skier's Drengear plant arm, which freed Myarga, now calling herself Myarga the Merciless, to attack Avar Chris. As this happened, Starlight Beacon was still under attack from the Drengear, and we learned that the Beacon was receiving distress calls from all over the galaxy stating the Drengear were attacking them. One of the big reveals of the issue, however, is that as Keeve tried to help Skier fight off the control the Drengear have on him, the Trandoshan explained to his former former apprentice that his connection to the Force had faded and had been fading for some time, which he believes explains why he couldn't sense the dark side presence on Sedri Minor. Skier also explained to Keeve that he was connection to the Force had faded, which is why he kept the secret from others. Meanwhile, as Avar Chris fought off Myarga, she had Jedi Master Astala Maru reroute all of the distress calls Starlight Beacon was receiving right to her comlink, which prompted Myarga to order her hot cartel goons to assist the Jedi in defeating the Drengear. After Myarga and her crew teamed up with the Jedi, Skier explained to Keeve that the Drengear followed impulses received through their telepathic root system, which would allow Keeve to mind touch, aka mind trick, Skier into sending a telepathic message to the Drengear that the beings they are attacking for meat are spoiled and rotten. Soon after Keeve mind touched Skier, the Drengear began to unanimously believe that all of the beings near them were unclean, essentially ending their attack. This took quite a toll on Skier, however, and left the Drengear and Ocean Jedi Master at least unconscious, possibly near dead, ending the issue. As stated earlier, this series never seems to disappoint. I've been wondering for some time what the hell's been up with Skier, and now we know that his connection to the Force has faded. Part of me wonders if his decreased Force connectivity has anything to do with the purple rod that the Eye of the Nile, Martian Roe, had at the end of Light of the Jedi. Additionally, many fans have speculated that we'll learn about or get to see the Lost 20 during the High Republic. The Lost 20 were a group of Jedi Masters who left the Jedi Order at some point throughout its history, and I wonder if Skier's decreased Force connectivity has anything to do with some of those lost Jedi leaving the Order. In Dooku Jedi Lost, it's mentioned that one of the lost Jedi was Jedi Master Trennis, which means that we could very well see Keeve Trennis eventually leaving the Jedi Order. If Skier does leave the Order, could his diminished Force connection, along with the Jedi Order's actions during the High Republic, also result in Keeve eventually leaving the Jedi Order? order as well. Could be a possibility, especially if whatever happens to Skier from here on out is tough on Keeve. Couple of other things I thought were cool in this issue were seeing Tarek save Serret from a Rancor by using the Force to put the Rancor to sleep, which was so dope, as well as Skier's like Vine sword arm. How freaking cool. I also thought it was funny how Myarga changed her name from Myarga the Benevolent to Myarga the Merciless. Lastly, while fighting to protect Starlight Beacon, we got to see our homies Jedi Knight Vernestra Roe and her Padawan on Imri Kanteros, the latter of which was nearly killed before Venestra saved his ass. The High Republic number 6 drops at the end of the month on June 30th, and I can't wait to see what the issue has in store for us and what happens next with Skier. But what do you guys think? What do you think about Skier's diminished force connection? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and and stay nerdy.